Bananas are one of the most widely consumed fruits in the world, and for good reason. They're affordable, easy to carry, naturally sweet, and packed with essential nutrients like potassium, magnesium, vitamin B6, and dietary fiber. For many, they're the go-to snack when hunger strikes, but despite their reputation as a perfect fruit, bananas are also one of the most misunderstood. Depending on and with what you eat them, they can either support your health or work against it. Today, we're going to explore the eight most common mistakes people make when eating bananas and how small changes can make this fruit an even smarter part of your daily diet. One of the biggest mistakes is eating bananas that are too ripe. As bananas ripen, the starch in them turns into sugars, especially glucose and fructose. While this makes the banana taste sweeter and softer, it also raises its glycemic index dramatically. A study published in the journal Food Chemistry found that as bananas ripen, their resistant starch drops significantly while sugar content spikes. For someone managing blood sugar, especially individuals with prediabetes or diabetes, this can lead to sharp glucose spikes. To make a healthier choice, aim for bananas that are slightly green or just barely yellow. These still contain resistant starch, which acts like fiber in the body, helping slow digestion, promote fullness, and keep blood sugar stable. You'll still get the potassium and nutrients, but with far less of the blood sugar roller coaster. Grabbing a banana first thing in the morning may seem like a healthy and quick solution, but eating it alone on an empty stomach is often a mistake. Because bananas are rich in fast-digesting carbohydrates and low in fat or protein, they can lead to a quick spike in blood sugar, followed by a crash an hour or two later. This can leave you feeling irritable, foggy-headed, or hungry again too soon. Instead, try combining your banana with protein and fat. For example, slice one over Greek yogurt or spread a tablespoon of natural peanut butter on top. The fat and protein help slow down digestion and create a more balanced release of energy. A study from the American Journal of Clinical Nutrition has shown that combining carbs with fat or protein can significantly reduce post-meal glucose spikes. It's not just about what you eat, but how you pair it. Bananas are often considered a diet food, but assuming they'll help you lose weight without context is a mistake. A medium banana has about 105 calories and 14 grams of natural sugar. That's not excessive, but when you start adding multiple bananas into smoothies, breakfast, or snacks every day without adjusting your other food intake, you can easily exceed your calorie goals. People trying to lose weight need to think in terms of nutrient density and satiety. Bananas are great, but they don't provide much protein or healthy fat, which are essential for staying full. If you're aiming to reduce snacking or late night cravings, consider swapping one banana a day with a boiled egg, a small apple with nut butter, or a handful of berries and almonds. These options provide more long-term satisfaction with fewer insulin fluctuations. For people with type 2 diabetes, bananas can be tricky. They're often labeled as healthy, so many think they're safe regardless of quantity. But bananas are relatively high in carbohydrates, and if eaten without balance, they can cause sharp blood sugar spikes. A study in diabetes care confirms that even fruits can cause glucose irregularities if not consumed properly. This doesn't mean diabetics need to avoid bananas altogether. The key is in moderation and pairing. Try a small, underripe banana, ideally with a handful of nuts or a boiled egg. Stick to one per day or less and always monitor how your body reacts. For even more stable energy, choose alternatives like berries, which have a much lower glycemic impact and more antioxidants per calorie. Eating bananas late in the evening seems harmless. They feel light, they're easy to digest, and they contain magnesium, often associated with better sleep. But they also contain sugar and starch, which can slightly elevate insulin levels, especially when eaten without protein or fat. Elevated insulin at night may interfere with your body's natural melatonin release and circadian rhythm. Some people also experience mild bloating or digestive issues from the fiber and resistant starch in bananas, especially if they eat them too quickly or too late. If you're prone to sleep issues, consider eating your banana earlier in the evening or switching to a small serving of unsweetened Greek yogurt, a handful of walnuts, or even a warm cup of chamomile tea. These choices are less likely to impact insulin and may support deeper sleep. Smoothies can be a healthy option or a trap depending on how you build them. Many people use bananas as the base, then add honey, sweetened plant milks, and other high sugar fruits like mango or pineapple. 
This can easily turn a healthy smoothie into a 400 to 600 calorie sugar bomb. While the sugars are natural, your body still responds to them with insulin. Instead of using a whole banana, consider using half. Add spinach or kale, unsweetened almond milk, protein powder, and maybe a few berries. This balances the taste while keeping the glycemic load low. A 2016 study from Nutrients emphasized the importance of protein and fiber in smoothies to prevent rapid glucose spikes. The rule of thumb, the greener your smoothie, the better it is for your long-term metabolic health. Not all bananas have the same nutritional profile. Size matters, as does origin. Baby bananas, for example, contain slightly less sugar and calories than large Cavendish bananas. Plantains, though they resemble bananas, are starchier and typically need to be cooked, making them better suited for savory dishes. On top of that, bananas from certain countries may be grown using synthetic ripening agents like calcium carbide, which is banned in many parts of the world due to health concerns. Whenever possible, choose organic or fair trade bananas, especially if you eat them regularly. These options tend to come from farms with higher standards of pesticide control. If you're in a country where bananas are treated for export, rinsing the peel before opening can further reduce your exposure to chemicals. Most people throw away the banana peel without a second thought. But in many countries, including India, Brazil, and parts of Africa, the peel is actually consumed or used in recipes. Banana peels are rich in antioxidants, vitamin C, and soluble fiber. They even contain dopamine and serotonin precursors, which may support mood balance. A study published in the Journal of Food Science and Technology found that banana peel extract had significant antioxidant and antimicrobial properties. While you probably won't want to chew on a raw peel, you can cut a clean, organic peel into small pieces and add it to smoothies or saute it like a vegetable. You can also use banana peel in natural remedies like polishing silverware or soothing skin irritation. It's a surprisingly versatile part of the fruit that most people waste unnecessarily. Bananas are not a food you need to fear. In fact, they remain one of the most convenient and nutrient-rich fruits available. But like with any food, the true power lies in how and when you eat them. The mistakes we've just explored are common, yet they're also easy to fix. Whether it's choosing a less ripe banana, pairing it with a protein source, or being mindful of how many you consume each day, these small adjustments can have a big impact on your energy levels, digestion, blood sugar, and overall well-being. As we grow older, our metabolism, hormones, and digestive efficiency change. What once worked in our 20s doesn't always serve us in our 40s or 50s. That's why being intentional with everyday foods like bananas is so important. When you start looking at your habits with a bit more awareness, asking not just what you're eating, but how and why, you begin to take back control of your health in ways that are both sustainable and empowering. So the next time you reach for a banana, don't just grab it on autopilot. Think about how you can make that simple fruit work better for you. Add a spoonful of nut butter. Toss in a handful of seeds. Blend it with spinach and protein instead of sugar and syrup. These tiny shifts create momentum, and over time, that momentum adds up to a healthier, more energized version of yourself. Let us know in the comments if you've ever made one of these mistakes, or if you have your own tips for making the most of bananas. And if this video helped you see things a little differently, go ahead and hit that like button, share it with a friend, and subscribe for more practical science-backed tips to improve your daily health, one habit at a time.